What's up guys, Fletch here from Ultimate Halo, and today we are going to be showing you, yes you good sir, how you can bag yourself more than enough energy to kick some rear end in Halo Wars 2's Blitz mode. Quickly, just before we start, let's get 3 likes on this video and let me know what your favourite leader is in the comments section down below. <laughs> So Fletch, I hear you say, I need to deploy some units to combat the enemy player for map control. Wrong. Well, not really, but still, having energy is a vital aspect of Blitz and you need to know how to make the most of it, otherwise the enemy will have the upper hand when they're shooting the hell out of you whilst you're there just trying to fend them off with a stick. First of all, it starts with your deck setup. It's all about the balance between cost efficiency and unit flexibility. Now, without going through a full deck, I'm just going to explain that you need a low cost card such as the Jackrabbits or an ordinary chopper to get you around. In the game, what these will do is allow you to quickly dart around the map and give you the edge over infantry who are small and slow and air who's fast but they cannot actually pick up the energy from above the ground. From this stage, it ultimately depends on what your strategy is. When you start the game, generally the guys on the Ultimate Halo channel will play with Decimus and we have the Vampire starting army with at least 4 grunts and a chopper. At the start, I tend to send each of the grunts along with their brutes to each base so we can capture one of them each and then have a chopper roaming around to be ready to catch any energy drops that come your way. If you need, you can always spawn more. A quick tip for getting them around the map quickly is that in Halo Wars 2, if you're on PC, select your unit, hold the Windows key and right click on the map where you want them to go. It saves you the hassle of going all the way to that area of the map and then selecting that you'd like to go in that particular position. Also, if you want a low level card but all you have are high levels when your energy is low, you can actually select your card and press the space bar. This will allow you to skip that card and trade it for 5 energy points. Now this is effective because then you've got a bit more flexibility and I'm sorry for you console players, I don't really know the controls so you'll have to look that one up. So there we have it, keep your mind as focused as you can during your match, dart your fast units around the map to collect all the energy and then hopefully towards the end of it you should be able to rub your opponent's face in the mud in victory that you are the better player. Thanks for watching, follow me on Twitter for all the latest tips and lore for Halo Wars 2, my Twitter is at FletcherUH and you can also do the same for at Ultimate Halo and then you can also subscribe to Ultimate Halo and we will see you next time on the channel, thank you for your time and I will see you in the next one. Peace out guys. Subscribe now to Ultimate Halo for more unfreaking believable Halo content.